I don't want to be uncharitable, Georgie, but... <laughs> There well, two, don't be. If there are two dogs in the world that I hate more than any others, it's the Chihuahua and the Sausage Dog. Carl, look at that face. No. Look at this. This thing's vibrating, like it's got batteries. Well, pat it, pat it and put it at ease. No. It's nervous. No, and he's rightly respecting me. Uh, with an estimated 4.8 million pet dogs in Australia, there's no doubt we're an animal-loving nation, but deciding... Which breed will suit your family is a big decision. So we're pleased to say Dr Katrina Warren is here to talk us through some of the biggest and smallest breeds, Katrina. So I've got a little miniature Dachshund here. You do. Who is just adorable. I don't Did think How so. big will she get? She won't get too much bigger. She's only um, three months old now. A couple. Of, I think she's 16 weeks old. So she'll get a little bit bigger than that, but she's certainly not going to be a big dog. And She's a mini Dachshund, so they're the smaller of the Dachshunds. And look out, she's looking at you. And Carl, I'm determined to change your opinion here. This this little chihuahua are uh, five months of age, will grow a little bit more, but they're usually around three kilos when they're adults. She was perfectly fine until you held her cow, by the way, and then mm. she started shaking. Oh. Well, <laughs> that tells you something. Mutual. It's actually the dog not shaking, it's me. <laughs> Come um, on, she's adorable. So, oh, what about some, I mean, some of the bigger dogs are, are, are really big? I mean, this, this sausage dog would be an ideal snack, I would have thought, for the great day. Oh. <laughs> now, now. Tell oh. us what you've got there. You've got a St. Bernard. I have a St. Bernard. Yeah. I think they're very famous, the old saints. They're the yeah. most beautiful dogs, but they do come, obviously, with quite a lot of uh, extra care required and a lot of drool. And we've got a beautiful Great Dane, um, Harlequin Great Dane, she's yeah. called. This is the colouring. Um, and you can see how big they are. I mean, look. She's, got, she's, she's got a beautiful nature, this Great Dane. She's, the Great Danes are usually, I mean, again, with any breed, you can get exceptions, but they're usually pretty laid-back, lovely dogs. But they can get amorous. <laughs> Well, only with you, yeah. apparently. As evidenced in the break. <laughs> um, and the St. Bernard? The St. Bernard. Well, this one is 15 months old, can you believe? It's probably about 80, 90 kilos oh. already. They can get up over wow. 100. Um, not a pet for everyone, purely the size. You need a bigger house, you know, or bigger space. You need a bigger car, bigger food bills. Yeah. Um, but people that love them just fall in love with them. What would, the, what would a dog like that eat? I would get Quite through a day. A so lot of food. Look, I asked you Canuba to price out so a premium food what it would cost per day yeah. on their recommended ration. It's nearly five. Oh. Oh. Yeah, and what about the saliva? And then slobber. So it's about five. Spit going everywhere. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a nice one on my shoulder. So Grace, <laughs> St. Bernard owners tend to come out with cloths. And he was actually wearing a bib before he came on set, which got taken off him. But it's uh, a the, real problem, isn't it? It's a, the, the saliva goes everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it is a little bit. But back to your question, yeah. probably about five dollars a day in food and the little chihuahua is probably about 50 cents a day in food if you were just feeding them just premium uh, dry. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I I'm loath to ask, but I imagine what goes in has to come out. <laughs> Absolutely, and we were talking to <laughs> Looks like an Ewok. Um... <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Um, in the hood. Yes, so um, unfortunately, yes. So Martina, who owns this guy, was saying before, she has giant pooper scoobers. Not for you, Georgie. I know what you're like with these things. But <laughs> giant pooper scoobers, yes, it is big. The little guys, if you want little nice, neat tight. Uh, poops a little, a little bit more appropriate. See, it's not just me. The point is they're a lot of work um, yeah. and, and they're a lot of upkeep. Yes, but they are all a lot of work. And we've left out our beautiful Bernese on the end too oh, that Thomas course. has kindly brought in. So hey, this is not a hey. giant dog as such. It's called a large dog, but it's larger than the average dog, right? Yeah, it's uh, you know, um, And they still, you know, a big pet care in that there's a lot of grooming, a lot of eating, feeding, whatever, but they are beautiful dogs too, yeah? And what about yeah. for exercise? Depends on the dog. See, again, with small dogs, some of the little dogs actually need more exercise than these the guys as well. Luke. So, really? Yeah, it depends. Like, if you get yourself a little fox terrier or something, they need the more force. exercise than a Dane. Okay. I love Carl. Use the force, Luke. <laughs> I'm not your father. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. You've been into his whiskey barrel, I think, oh, yeah. this morning. And what about lifespan? Do, do okay. big dogs tend to live. Shorter. Shorter lives. So generally yeah. the bigger the dog, yeah, the shorter the lifespan. So the little chihuahuas can live up to 18 years, 16, 18 years, yeah, these wow. little guys. But unfortunately the giant dogs, um, usually 8 to 10. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's been a lot of work with the breeding to try and, um, you know, make their hips more sound and breed out some of the... <laughs> just can't concentrate. Um, oh. To breed out some of the genetic problems. But, um, yeah, unfortunately the lifespan is generally shorter. OK. Um, wow, well, there's a bit to weigh up. You're, look, you're in the market for a dog. I like them. Oh, yeah, I don't mind. The, I love German Shepherds, right? Right? Yeah, um, but this Great Dane has got me captivated. Yeah, Come on, wake up. Come, Come up here. Come up here. Look at the size. Whoa, Just a, one, whoa. Look at whoa. the size. One thing I should say too, <laughs> because yeah. now with the. <laughs> <laughs> well, Melbourne.
cups almost to one. Who is that? Oh, oh, oh. 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 Just if you are going to get a breed, please go through the reputable breeders. And the best way to do that is the Australian National Kennel Council of Australia, and they will give you the proper Ooh. breed clubs. Yes. Really Ooh. important. You... Otherwise, you end up in line with Ooh. lots of dodgy breeders. And you, you suggest never oh. buying a oh, never it? buying a pet through a pet shop. Well, you don't know where they've come from. Ooh. And unfortunately, often the prices of the, the pets out of, you know, the newspaper online are more expensive than those that have been bred by breeders who are doing their best to make sure they're healthy dogs. Yep. So really important. You want to find the governing dog body in of your course. state and go through the breed club. Do your homework. Yeah. All right. You well, go. I think we've found your new <laughs> pet. Yep, you are. Here you go. I'm going to take See this you later. Home. There you go. Sorted. <laughs> yeah. Sorted. How oh, good. And I'm absolutely in heaven with this little one. She is exquisite. Oh. Isn't she divine? Oh. She's absolutely divine. And a gorgeous little pet. Little better. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh. Sorted. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Things are getting amorous. <laughs>